I actually have something to say about this particular one. This particular drama is called the one percent. Okay, I know a lot of people aren't happy with the one percent. Let's bring you up to speed. What happened is in the mall, they decide to increase the mall rates by one percent. One percent. So before this was sixty percent, now it's sixty-one percent. Mid quality mall before this was twenty percent, now it's twenty-one percent. So I'm curious to see what does Reddit has to say. Yo, what does Reddit has to say? The devs are actually just trolling at this point. Okay, one percent lemau. They are clearly will never give you 100% SSR malls or manufacturer malls. Inflation just need 40 more times. It has to be a typo, right, guys? Right? Embarrassing and deliberately disrespectful. I'm voting with my wallet here, not spending another cent. So nothing has changed at all. Lamau might as well not even increase it and still get the same results. If it was 10% or even 5%, I would chalk it up to them being stingy. The fact is 1%. Either indicates they legit are trolls or have no common sense. They could have changed nothing and it would have been a better receive. Okay, okay. It's pretty base. Better than Gan, who always has to walk on eggshells. Ooh, Ganshin players walking on eggshells? I hope this causes outrage. This is effing insulting. This is insulting, guys. 1%. How dare they, right? I didn't know those days could be this stupid. Stupid with our decisions. Oh man, calling people stupid. Wow. Only way to get closer to 100% without people demanding compensation, small increments. Huh. They can keep the same rates but increase frequency of rewards to get SSR more. Those that have used beforehand are not shortchanged, so no issue with compensation. 1% closer to 100% sounds good. I actually have my own theory about this, but I want to see what people have to say first, right? Okay, puts on tinfoil hat. What if the rates were actually lower than 60%? And the 1% increase was made just to cover that up so they could correctly change the rate. Okay. Okay, so his theory is that the rates are not 60%. The rates are 59%. So they increased it to 1% higher, 60%, just to cover up their mistakes. Wow! People would have been more upset if they found out that the most were in fact not 60% compared to how people are reacting to this 1% increase. Because honestly, who did they expect would be happy about 1% increase in something they know from 100%? If this wasn't some shady move to cover something up, then this felt like a big F you to the player base looks bad either way. I believe in this theory. There's no way most have 60% chance. Uh, that most is that most is at bad 30, 30 to 40%. Tower most are even more disgusting. Open seven most only got one SSR and effing two Rs like WTF. I'm hitting at sub 20% on my HQ more rate, so maybe the devs are so generous they actually listen to their player. They ask increase more rate, so we add one percent more. This is both funny and sad, Lamau. Okay, because some people got added to the pool, is it? That's the thing, this is not even out of kindness of their heart. They simply added more Nikkei to the pool in order to not reduce the drop chance of any one Nikkei. They just raised the total to by 1%. Nobody does things out of kindness, especially not gacha companies. Raising SSR rates usually mean they want to offset dilution. Perhaps you can argue that doing said offset is an act of kindness itself because not all games do that. The alternative is reducing the pool if it has too many. In emo, kindness and generosity are marketable strategies. They don't necessarily have to have malicious ulterior motives to do something. But you can try to look for reasons why they do certain things in a technical and financial standpoint. Seeing everyone's reactions about this, I guess they really saw it differently, given the current mood behind the game's publisher. Maybe they are wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I just thought I could argue any further about any reasoning. I'll be called a shield. I don't even understand what is there to argue about. You can see the numbers and compare to pictures before update. Once they introduce Helm and Laplace into the pool, that reduced the percent of getting any one Nikkei. And this now brought it back up to closer to those original values. If they actually wanted to be generous, they would have given us 20% more. But then, people would want compensation for that or their old moles back. So I guess this is their compromise, just raising it by 1% over the course of many months as they add new Nikkei to the pool, so maybe this will be 65% at the one year anniversary of the game. So what do you guys think of this theory? So he's saying that eventually the mall will have more and more characters. So right now, 
Recently, they added Laplace, they added Helm to that particular mode. Uh, before this, Helm and Laplace wasn't there, is it? That theory isn't bad since pool gets bigger anyways. So I actually do think there's some sort of truth to this theory, that they do intend to increase it more eventually. Like that's going to be the word eventually, right? They plan to do it more eventually. Uh, maybe the goal is not... Right now it's 60%, right? Maybe the goal is eventually here. 65% but they don't want to increase all the way to 65% because you need to test the water to see how good is this number right if you straight away increase by 5% and suddenly you find out you messed up now your sales are less now your game feels very generous people are no longer pulling you cannot go back you can't go back because that will cause drama so taking it small increment steps at a time so put it at 61% first. Is playing safe. Alright, I feel like it's playing safe. At the end of the day, they have the data. I do think that they have the data. Uh, there's a reason why they want to increase it slightly first. If you guys are not aware, right, where I'm coming from is... I'm sure you guys have heard of this, right? During the CBT. This mole is 100%. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before. CBT, the mole is all 100%. Right? So why do you guys think when the game official release, they reduce it to 60%? Now, why do you guys think that's the case? Why is this not kept? Why do they reduce to 60%? Because they have the data. They have the data. Okay, during the CBT, we found out that players are getting characters too easily. And you don't want that to happen sometimes, right? To your game, you don't want the SSR to be too easy to get. That would like, that will cause inflation. Right? Or not inflation, deflation is it? Whatever the term is. SSR is supposed to be the highest rarity of this game. And you want them to not to be obtained in a in a like respective manner. I wouldn't say too easy or too difficult, right? So there's a reason why they reduce it to 60%. Because during the CBT they found out maybe this is too generous, so now they are going back to this route. So this is like my theory. So right now they notice okay, maybe this is too low. So let's increase it a little bit first before they proceed to this or even to like 70% because the moment you go too far you can't back out if you straight up increase to this you find out this is too much and then you want to reduce to this you're going to get backlash you cannot nerf no company want to go through the nerf process nerf is always bad so if you can buff a little bit a little bit every company does this like if you guys play counter side you will know what I'm talking about some character gets a little bit buff the buff is very small just so that you don't want to over buff a character Later on, you put yourself in a tough position. If you have to nerf, and then now the wheels are upset, right? They cannot go backwards. Going backwards is always very risky for a company, right? They nerf noise. They, they did nerf noise. And I don't think that's a good choice that they want, right? The thing with noise is noise is only a small player base. Not everybody has noise. You get what I'm saying? Not everybody has noise. But this one is going to affect everybody because everyone has the moles. So this is going to affect every single player. Uh, a lot of players actually don't have noise and when I fight PvP, I see they don't really use noise back then. So only a few small player base will get affected. Something like this is going to affect a bigger player base. So this is always going to be more risky. I think increasing slow is the safest way. At the end of the day, they are always going to be complainers. You cannot win regardless, right? When you do this, people are going to complain. If you do this too much and then you try to nerf it later, people are also going to complain. So which one is still going to be the safest one? It's going to be this one. The small increments slowly moving towards. Uh, we'll see. Like, again, only time will tell if I'm right or wrong. If it goes up even more in the future, if it goes up to 62%, 63 64 65 there will be something that uh, we'll see in the future for sure.